I guess. Hmm? Sure. I wonder if something happened. Okay! Mm -hmm. hmm. Got it. Hmm? Just great. What are you going to use the prize money for? What else? Eating until my stomach bursts. That sounds right up Sheon's alley. Somebody's watching us. <sighs> What's wrong? Yes! <sighs> ah! How? <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Yes. Huh? Hey. Why are we humoring this old man again? Because there's no way I'm passing up a top secret palace recipe, okay? <sighs> There's a surprise. I'm seeing Danins and Renins getting along. You ne never know. It could all be an act on orders from the Renins. So these are the training grounds. The atmosphere here feels different compared to the rest of...
It's just a nicer name for a place where people go to fight. So? It's still a good way for us to test our strength. Stop sweating the small stuff. Looks like Danons are working in the quarry. Let's go check it out. Stay sharp. We're going in. I'm sorry. I'm not feeling well today. Could I please take the day off? Oh, that's terrible. Uh, rest up and try not to strain yourself. I'll let the others know. Thank you. I appreciate it. But he seems so happy working here. And it seems like the soldiers are there to actually protect them rather than keep an eye on them. I don't get it. How can it be like this? I presume you're Alfin, of Orbis Calaglia? I'm Captain Kisara of the Elder Menencia Guard. Just... Kisara? No last name would make you a Danon. So it does. Is that a problem? The Guard... Wait, so you're saying the Lord of Elder Menencia has Danons protecting him? In this country, Danon Guardsmen aren't unusual. Everyone who enlists does so of their own free will. She sounds like she's serious, Alfin. That makes no sense. Don't your people remember seven years ago? Wouldn't you be grateful if you were finally allowed to live as a free person? And for my part, there is no greater honor than being chosen to serve His Excellency, Lord Dohalim. I feel no shame. <laughs> but all of that aside, I came seeking you, Alfin at Lord Dohalim's behest. He wishes an audience with you. W with us? Indeed. He awaits you at Ottolina Palace. That is, if you choose to accept. I am here only as a messenger, not a kidnapper. Your reply? All right. We'll meet your lord. Very well. I shall return and deliver your acceptance. Please don't keep him waiting too long. Before you go, what lies beyond this point? A quarry manned by Dan and laborers. Nothing else? There's a Dan and medical facility for the severely ill at the back. However, for sanitation reasons, it's kept off limits, even to guardsmen. That was odd. Why do you think this Doalim would want to see us? It's probably a trap. 
still, they already know we're here. Not like we can start being stealthy now. We might as well listen to what he has to say. Hey, are you sure about going? What if it's a trap? That's no reason to back out now. Boss right. I get your concern, but we should buckle down. I guess that towering structure at the center is the palace. You think it's dangerous to go inside? It's not a question of danger. We're going inside regardless. Pretty fancy place they got here. There's no way this isn't a trap. Your guests, my lord. Thank you, Kisara. You're the wielder of the Blazing Sword. The liberator of Calaglia. You do dress humbly for someone of such grandeur. But where are my manners? I am the ruler of Elda Menencia. I'm Lord Dohilim Ilkaris. If you know who we are, then you know how strange it is to invite us into your palace. I thought I'd clear up your misconceptions before things could escalate. What do you say? <sighs> You did come here to defeat me, did you not? Perhaps, and what if we did? Are you planning to fight us here? I don't think that will be necessary. After all, I imagine you've taken in a fair amount of his scent by this point. Have you come across even one slave being abused? Soldiers killing for sport? Suffering of any form? I would hazard that you have not. For I have liberated Menencia from its suffering, and brought joy to its people. But if these results are not enough to stay your sword... I commend you for your boldness, but it won't work on me. Still... Your would-be assassination cannot go unpunished. Elfin! Fair enough. Allow me to host you for dinner. We shall continue our talk then. Kelzalik? Yes, my lord. Please escort our guests if you would be so kind. As you wish, sire. That's what you get for being so careless. What I get? What were you thinking attacking him on your own? What are you upset about? Our whole goal is supposed to be overthrowing the Lords. Remember? He could have been hurt. And it wouldn't have been the first time either. What's gotten into you? <sighs> hey, you do know that Alfin is really just worried about you, right? He's... worried? I mean, that's what it looked like to me. Uh, but, um, maybe not.
It pains me to see that Renan cuisine isn't to your liking. I asked my chefs to prepare only the finest delicacies available. Two wasted opportunities. Why did you set the Danans here free when you took over? Ah, uh, but you are mistaken. You see, I may rule single-handedly, but on my own even I cannot change the order of things. But what is within my power is the welfare of the people, the fostering of a mutual respect among the classes. This I can change. Sounds a lot like the Danans are still oppressed, if you ask me. Only in the sense they continue to serve as laborers, yes. However, I assure you they are fairly compensated for their efforts. This harmony we strive for is the current pinnacle of Ren and Dan in coexistence. Harmony and coexistence between the Renans and the Danans. What about the crown contest? This doesn't exactly make you a shoe in And yet, the Danans here are even more productive than when they used to face daily lashings. In any case, the crown contest is of little importance to me, and even less to Elda Menencia. You see, I have no interest in becoming sovereign. <laughs> It is not by choice that one assumes the throne of a realm. But Sovereign is a different matter entirely. I have no interest in playing their game. Are you saying you'll withdraw from the contest? I guess if you don't plan to ascend the throne, there's not much reason to harvest energy from Danans, is there? Let the ambitious fight it out amongst themselves. All I care for is maintaining peace throughout my realm. So what? Your personal desires are all that matter to you? Take a look in the mirror. I may not play their games, but you have outright betrayed your own. You've torn down two of my fellow lords. What precisely is your aim? <sighs> Spare me your answer. I care not for your reasons. Suffice it to say, I will not impede you. That said, should you threaten the peace of my realm, I will respond. I suggest you conclude your business and leave Menencia at your earliest convenience. Kelzalik! Our guests depart. Please see to their lodgings for the night.
I shall arrange for rooms for you all at a local inn. It is a short ways down the road. You may stay there for the night, after which I suggest you promptly make your departure. Damn, look at how ritzy this place is. How many... So you're the blazing sword of Calaglia now, huh? Come to think of it, I remember Ganabelle calling you that too. Yeah, you're getting to be pretty famous among the lords. Yeah, and that's not a good thing either. What do you mean? That's something you should be proud of, if anything, Alfin. They're scared of you, man. You're a real badass. It's not as simple as that, Law. The more well-known he is, the more people might come after him. No, that's not what I'm worried about. It isn't? When people call me that, it feels like there's something hanging over me that shouldn't be there. It's hard to put into words, but it's something that doesn't feel like a part of me. Something I can't let be a part of me, or else. Hmm. Well, I still think it's pretty amazing, but that's just me. Do you really think we should trust accommodations from a Renan Lord? Like we have any other choice. Honestly, I'd still take that over staying here. I doubt that's the case. His best chance to kill us would have been back at the palace. His true intentions aside, for now at least we're in his good books. Then we probably shouldn't test his patience. Let's find that in and check in. <laughs> Do you sense one of your friends, Hoodle? One of your friends, Hoodle? Maybe something's going on in the forest. Welcome, fair travelers. Lord Dohalim's retainer told us to expect you. It is an honor for you to stay with us. Please, make yourselves comfortable. This is better than I expected. Mm hmm? The room. It's nice. Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. It is pretty nice. You okay, Law? You're a million miles away. Nah, it's weird. I felt strange ever since we arrived here. Can't seem to shake it. Maybe it's something about this place. You're just tired. I'm feeling pretty sluggish myself. You too? 
Seriously, you two? A word to the wise, our work here is far from over. Get yourselves together. <sighs> I'm sorry, but I need to call it a day. Well, let's meet back here tomorrow morning and see where things go from there. Sound good? Sure, but keep an eye out for anything strange, okay? We still don't know how safe this place really is. Are you two feeling any better? Yeah, a good night's sleep seems to have done the trick. I wonder why we felt so out of it. You think it might have been because of all the food we ate? You don't think they slipped something into our food, do you? That must be it. If they were making an attempt on our lives, we'd know it by now. Though, on the other hand, they could be warning us off. Come to think of it, you didn't eat anything at the meal, Rinwell. Aren't you starving? Oh, I made myself something later. You missed out. That was some mighty fancy grub they served yesterday. What? And give the enemy a chance to poison me too? Are you crazy? What's the big deal? Shion ate it too, remember? And we both tried the same stuff. Well, maybe they laced it with poison that's only harmful to Danins, hmm? That's enough, Rinwell. <laughs> Cat? Where'd it come from? There's something on its collar. Hold on a sec. I think it's trying to lead us somewhere. I'm gonna follow it. Th hey! Where do you think you're going? Stay close. We're gonna lose it. What's gotten into you, Law? This might be the lead we've been waiting for. Seriously? Yeah. Some people train animals to act as messengers. They don't attract attention, see? And you think that someone might be using that cat? To reach out and send us a message or something? I could be wrong, but it's possible. I'm impressed. I would never have thought of that. I should know. We used to use them in Cislodia. She's so adorable. You say something? Where do you think it's trying to lead us? Who knows? We should hurry. We don't want to lose it. Whoever came up with this is pretty damn clever. Yeah, it just looks like an ordinary cute cat. We lost sight of the cat. After the chase it's led us on, there's got to be something up ahead. Let's go farther in. Some power you wield. You're the one who did the heavy lifting. I get that underground forests aren't exactly something you see every day. They really could have done without any zoogles running around. You said it. I get the city up top surrounded by castle walls, but now I won't be able to sleep easy knowing they're lurking underneath. You have nothing to fear. Zoogles work for the Renans. There might be strays out here, but the other Zoogles won't let them get close. 
Using Zoogles to keep watch over their own kind, huh? That would explain why we're not seeing any guards. Yeah, which makes it that much easier for someone to hide around here, too. <sighs> ah! <laughs> Sorry, Shion. My foot slipped. Are you all right? I should be asking you. <laughs> what am I saying? Of course you're okay. It's easy to forget sometimes. If anybody else had been in your place, they'd be howling right about now. Huh? Oh, right. You mean your thorns. Again, sorry for brushing you like that without warning. Well, just be careful. <sighs> hey, Alfin? Hmm? Forget it. It's nothing. Uh, well, okay. What's with those two? Break yourself! This one! for some good weapon crafting material. The reason the trees around here are so big is because of astral energy, right? It's possible, but give them enough time and trees can get pretty big on their own without any extra help. when I see it.
I can feel my precision improving. 